The Little Orchestra Society is proud to present Sarah Jobin, our guest conductor for Peter and the Wolf. How did you become a conductor? I became a conductor through a long series of events that started when I was seven or eight. I started singing in the kids' choir in church because I love singing. And then, that was when I was seven, and when I was eight years old I started piano lessons, mostly because my older sister was taking piano and I thought she was cool. I thought everything she did was cool, of course, by definition. Um, and so I wanted to take piano lessons and then I stuck with it. And I also started playing the viola in third grade because they came to my school and they demonstrated all the string instruments. So I started playing the viola in the orchestra in public school, third grade. Um, and then after that I just I loved music and I just like wanted to make music all the time so I played as many different instruments as I could as I was growing up I played the flute the oboe the trumpet the mallet percussion which is like xylophone and things you hit on in the orchestra you hit um, I played a little bit of French horn in high school because there was one in the closet and it was really nice and shiny and I already said that. Yeah. So, um, and then I saw Leonard Bernstein conduct when I was 15, and he, he moved me so much, he touched me so much, his music making, that I wanted to do that for other people. So that's why I became a conductor. How do you get ready to conduct? First, I learn the music really, really, really well. So I have it like memorized inside me and I can just sing it. And then I move my hands like one, two, or one, two, three. And I just sing the music really strong inside and then the orchestra can follow and they can play it with me. Do you have any hobbies apart from music? I play judo, which is a martial art from Japan and I've competed nationally and internationally in judo kata which is like a, it's kind of like a dance, it's like a choreographed fight where you don't hurt each other but you know what you're going to do and the one that I have competed in is eight minutes long, it's called Juno Kata. I was the national champion in 1998 and 2006 and I was the world champion in 1999. Judo is a lot of fun and it's, it's a great workout for your whole body. Do people call you maestro? Sometimes people do call me maestro and I appreciate it because it's a term of respect. It means teacher and if someone chooses to call me that, I take that as a gift. Um, it's in it, it means teacher in Italian and the thing about Italian is that they have different word endings for men and women. So actually because I'm a woman it would be maestra with an A on the end if you wanted to call me that. I'm perfectly happy to be called my name, which is Sarah. Do you have a question for the conductor? Post a comment or video on the Little Orchestra Society's Facebook page.